taking the technology of unmanned aircraft to new heights, the Global Hawk is literally on top of the world. A single Global Hawk can travel 125,000 nautical miles and survey an area of 40,000 square miles in a single day. This is only possible because of its operational altitude of 60,000 feet. The speed and the altitude of, of the air vehicle is, is quite impressive. The aircraft will operate in excess of 300 knots. It can fly at altitudes up to 11 miles above the Earth's surface. And then to do that and have an endurance of 30 hours, so it's a very efficient use of an airframe. Since Global Hawk is purely a surveillance aircraft, it doesn't carry any firepower. Its best defense against attack is to stay at a height where it's out of harm's way. Altitude provides me some protection. Obviously, it doesn't provide me all protection. You might have a, a hostile fighter that may want to come and, and take you out, so to speak. If I know he's coming at me, I have plenty of time to maneuver and leave the area. The bulge on top of the aircraft houses the 48-inch wideband satellite dish, giving Global Hawk its distinctive shape. The KU satellite dish on the top of the aircraft can perform 50 megabits per second of, uh, of data download. And the common data link is up to 250 megabits per second. And that is a line of sight link to users right in the field. So basically, the aircraft is a huge pipe for imagery, both for the analyst and for the uh, operator out there that needs the information in near real time. The sensors can see at night and through extreme weather or even dust storm conditions an ability with many civilian applications. The cost of Global Hawk puts it out of reach for all but the most well-funded armies. But with that cost comes amazing endurance, stealth, and a wide array of sophisticated sensor technologies. 